Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to find areas of figures on a Cartesian coordinate plane. And we're going to start with some just simple figures. Okay, if you've got a triangle that's graphed and you might have ordered pairs, okay, and that's fine if you were given the point like 0, 0, this was at the origin, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, and this one was 2, 2. You can also do that, graph them and plot them. But once you get this plotted, you can see your triangle. Now, to find the area of this triangle, I'm going to just use the area formula. 1 half the base times the height. And because we're on a Cartesian coordinate plane, I can actually count this length. So I'm going to count the length of this base. Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long. So my base is 5. My height is, from the apex straight down, is 1, 2. So I've got to take 1 half of 10, and half of 10 is 5. So the area of that is, is 5 uh, square units. And that's how we do it. It's very, very easy. So let's look at a composite. Okay, I've got a rectangle and a triangle. So let's divide it into parts. Let's take this rectangle first. Okay, this rectangle is 2 units long and two units high. So the area is one, two, three. Yep, we can see that's four square units. Now on top, I have a base that measures, remember triangles, area is one half base times height. So one half, well my base is two, right? One, two. My height is one. So the area of the triangle is just one square unit. Now we're going to take these two and we're going to add them together because we're doing composite figures to so take the area of the base which is 4 whoops that was not square units the area is 4 square units plus 1 on top that leaves us with 5 square units for the area and that's how you find it on a Cartesian coordinate plane. Now let's look at some that aren't don't have a height and a base that are uh, vertical or horizontal the way these were. These were set up nicely. What if they're kind of set on the Cartesian coordinate plane at a funky angle? Okay, it's a little trickier to find this altitude and find this height. You'd have to use a distance formula and all kinds of crazy things. There's an easier way to do it. I'm going to show you the subtraction method. Okay, what we're going to do as I'm going to label these order pairs, just let's say that this is the origin at 0, 0. So this one is 0, 2. This point is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 3, 5. And this one's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that one's at 5, 0. Okay, so let's say that you had this plotted in the first quadrant, and this is what you were looking at. Okay, what you can do is you can find the area of this outer rectangle and then you can subtract one, two, three right triangles and you can find the area of this shaded region, what's left over. So let's see, let's find the area of the largest outer shape. That measures five by five, so my outer shape is 25 square units, right? You could even count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You could count up to 25 and see there are 25 square units there. Now we're going to subtract off these three triangles. So let's find the area of each of these triangles. This is 3 by 3. Now remember the formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So it's half of 3 times 3, or half of 9 which is 4.5. So we're going to subtract off a 4.5. A 4 okay, let's find the area of this triangle over here. This one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 high and 2 wide. So 1 half of 5 times 2, that would give us a half of 10, which is 5 square units. So we're going to subtract 5 more. And then let's go down here to the bottom. This one's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 2, so again this is 1 half of base times height, and that also gives us 5 square units. So we subtract off a second 5. Okay, so 25 minus 10 is 15, and then 15 minus 4.5 is 10.5. Uh, so this is 10.5 square units for the shaded area. 